Hi everyone, my name is Chris McCutch and I'm going to give you a quick introduction in adding page numbers to InDesign documents. So let's just open up new project. So we've got file, new, document. Open it up. I'm going to take facing pages off just because that's my personal preferences. Click OK, everything's fine. That's just set up for A4. And hit OK. And there we go, you see you've opened up your basic document. So this is our first page, and what we want to do, what we want to do is go to Pages, click on Master, and you'll see that, for example, whatever you do on this page, so we draw a little circle up the top, will then fall onto every page in the document. So if we add other pages in, one, two, three, four, on every page, you can see that that circle is there. So basically this master is the master of every page. Whatever you do on there will happen on the other pages in the document. So I'm just gonna quickly delete those, go back to one, go back to our master page, and delete that. So say for example, if you wanted to add a title, this is great. So instead of going to every page and adding in, copy and pasting the title, we just add it into the master page and it falls on every page. So there we go. So say for example, in title, chose how bad it goes just because I would like a little bit to go. Um, there we go, we've got your title. Go back to page one, see the title's there. Let's go to page two, it's still there. So it's perfect again if you want to put footers or titles or anything. Anything that you want to pay on every page, that's what it's there for. So if we think about adding page numbers, which is a great tool to keep track in your document of what page you want. If we get rid of this, so what we do is make sure you've got your text box open, so you go to, let's start again, we'll get rid of this. We go to text, let's say we want to add it in the bottom left corner there. I'm going to go back to Helvetica. There we go. What we want to do, if we go to type, Insert special character, markers, current page number. So let's type, insert special character, markers, current page number. And now you'll see a little A has appeared. And all that means is that when you go back to your pages, the marker is there. So if we add a new one, page two, page three, you can see it automatically updates itself. Brilliant. So say for example if you wanted to add in a different marker, so maybe we have a page number in blue instead of black, what you do is you right click or control click on a Mac, go on new master and you'll see B master has appeared. Now you can change this to whatever you want, you could call it master 2 or blue master if you were going to do blue and you all you do is click OK. New master's appeared, and whatever you do, again, it appears on a B master page. And I'm going to explain that in more detail. So if we go back to the A master, for ease, I'm just going to copy and paste to the B master. And let's change it to a navy. So at the top of my head, this should be navy. There we go. It is as well. You can see that's blue. In the B master, go back to A, that's the black one. Okay, so if we go back to the, the project, the main pages, page one is in black. You add a new page, goes to page two. Now, what we want to do is right click, control click on a Mac, go to apply master to pages. And we want to apply the B master. So this is the B master there, the one with the blue number on. B master, okay. You'll see there, it is now just turned blue. And if you go back to one, it is still black. Great. So we've got two different ways of having our page numbers there. So it's great if you want to have different masters, say different sections in a document, but still don't want to copy and paste for each and every page that you do. Simple as that. And there we go. That's how you add page numbers to documents.